So here I am again with Catherine Rog, editor in chief of Lifestyle from French Elle. Catherine, comment est-ce que la rédaction de Elle choisit ses lieux favoris? Le maître mot, c'est un, un endroit qui est de l'esprit. Mm. Ça va être un mélange entre le chic, le cool, mais je pense qu'on favorisera toujours la créativité euh, par rapport au luxe. Pour moi, l'esprit parisien, il se résume aussi bien dans le bar sublime du Royal Monceau euh, fait par euh, Philippe Stark que dans euh, le restaurant Nanashi, euh, qui ressemble à une vieille cantine berlinoise, mais on mange des salades ultra raffinées faites par une chef japonaise qui a attrapé, on dirait, le virus de Paris. Est-ce qu'il y a une petite expression très parisienne que tu pourrais me dire eh bien écoute, tu serais peut-être étonné d'entendre les gens te dire, au lieu de te dire à tout à l'heure, de te dire à toutes. Merci beaucoup Catherine, et puis euh, à toutes. À toutes. <rire> Ciao. Here we are in the shopping closet of French L, where the magic happens. Behind me, bags full of gorgeous clothes that are waiting to be styled and shot. And then published on the pages of the magazine that you'll see later on. It's incredible. <laughs> Nanashi, a healthy place for having a bit of lunch in between shopping trips, and also an L girl's secret place. Let's go and have a bite. It's uh, better than a baguette and ham and cheese, I can assure you. Valentine Gauthier. Valentine Gauthier is the young fashion designer. We are making uh, neo vintage clothes. Maybe we can try some clothes. Yes, of course. What would Paris be without perfume? Here we are in the boutique of Frederick Mal in Paris, the first perfume editor who brings together the most amazing noses of fragrances in the world. Now I'm going to ask Etienne to help me find the perfume that's best suited for me. We have 18 perfumes in the collection, so the, the idea is to make a selection and select maybe three or four that, that we hope would suit your personality and your tastes. Uh, we're going to use the columns there, which, which we use, and the idea of the columns is, is to, to give you a, a very concrete idea of what the perfume would, will smell like when you wear it on, what we call the sillage in French. Morgan, tell me about some of the uh, special pâtisserie that you're making here. In front of you, you will have the Saint Honoré. This is one of the best in Paris. This is creamy, yummy with vanilla cream. Mm. So very, very good. The Paris Bresse, the famous one in the shop, and also the best one in Paris with praline cream. This is dangerous. This is the most difficult part of my job. This is real reportage. Here we go. Oh my goodness, okay. That was probably the most um, delicious Paris Brest that exists on the planet Earth. Thank you, Morgane. Can I, can I just uh, take that? <laughs>